Hey, it's Entheogen, and welcome back to Bargain Basement Games, the game series where, due to a shipping error, I am overstocked on cheap games. That's right, in this episode we're playing something called Chip. As usual, never played it before, don't know what it's about, apparently there are robots in it. So let's click to continue. Play. Uh, the Count of Monte Chipsco. Alright, I guess we'll play that. Uh, let's make some sort of puzzle game. Okay, so we're happy. This is happy time, except this dude here is clearly a bad guy because he's got a goatee on him. Um, do that one, I guess. Or do I... Okay. He's a devil. He's gonna come back behind me and cosh me on the back of the head with this bag of whatever. Cats? Maybe it's, maybe it's full of cats. Oh, it's full of me now, apparently. And uh, I'm being put into a the, the cage they put Magneto in in the first X-Men movie. Um, I'm unhappy. I've got no battery. I've got a kind of like a kind of like a traffic cone in there. I don't know what that's supposed to be. Oh, but it's glowing. It's magic. Oh, I've got no battery. I'm going to sleep. Continue. Okay, so this is a puzzle game. All right. Okay, this is some sort of puzzle game. Click the cannon to fire a bolt. It's a happy little bolt. Woohoo! The quest begins. Unlocked. So we completed the level. That was it. So I guess, I'm, I'm assuming maybe this whole thing is about how do I get the bolt to chip? It was this guy, I guess. Uh, continue. Yeah, so, okay, we got a mirror. Click and hold on the object to rotate it. Alright, so let's do that, because then it'll re reflect over there. It's a mirror of some kind. So our happy little bolt. Oh, we got, do have a timer here, so... Alright. Okay, so we got two mirrors. Doot, doot. There we go. No, like this. I want to... Uh, no. No. Go. Oh. There. Okay, there we go. Okay, so any object with a circular base can be rotated. Fire. Fire at will. Boink. Boink. And we got him. Over 9,000. Your score is fairly substantial. We're doing great, team. Alright, 10 moves 5. Continue. Okay, so we've got this guy here. He's over here. Um, so we want to... I can't move this guy. He's got to go this way. So I want this guy to go bounce here, then here, then here, then over here. So let's move this guy first. Like that. Then this guy like that. And then this guy like that. Fire! Fire the laser cannon. Boink. Boink. It should work. If mad science is taught me anything, it's that mirrors and lasers are the source of all power. Okay. All right. What do we get? Not bad. Okay. Again, so I'm uh, this lazy cannon needs power before it can be fired. Interesting. So I can't fire this one directly at him. I have to. What I have to do is I have to fire this one at him. So what I should do is I should turn. Eh. There, like that. This guy, I want to turn like that. Fire. So it'll bounce off that. Go in there. Shoot. Okay. Now, we, now even charged up. Being fired now. I'm not sure what this time and moves things up here indicates, but it means something, I guess. All right. I'm not sure why that didn't do very well. Earn a flash, a light bulb, by finishing the level in only six moves. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay. Um, so he's here. I can move these guys. I need to charge these guys first. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna convert this guy. He's gonna go there. This guy's gonna go here. And this guy's gonna go like this. Ready, grab. There. Fire. 
Fire. Fire. What this reminds me of is a game I played years ago that was like, it was sort of this Rube Goldberg game where you had a bunch of different things, you, machines that you could put on the thing, and, and the, the goal was always to get like a laser beam across the map. So, continue. Click on this to select an object on the lowered floor. Okay, what does that do? Like that. There you go. Will that work though? I don't think it'll work. It should. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Not gonna work. Bye bye, Bolt. Oh, I can click here to move the object. Oh, okay. I can move it there. Okay. I like this kind of groovy, like, Sims-esque music that you've got going on here. Fire. There we go. I'm all out of moves. Uh-oh. Is he waking up? Yeah, I screwed that one up. I could probably could have replayed that. Alright. Batteries absorb electric bolts, so... We can't have them in the way, obviously. Um, so this is gonna go this way. Can I move? I can't move that guy. He's gonna absorb this bolt. But if I move this guy here, then this guy will can fire like that. Go up here, and I wanna move this guy over here. Yeah, I got it now. And I wanna move this guy. So he's facing like that. So he'll bounce off of this thing, go up here, bounce off this guy, and then hit Chip over there. Am I right? I am right. Sweet. Okay, there's another one. Level, another level complete. complete. Apparently, there's 3,300 levels on this. Um, what is this? Some sort. This is like a little mirror cage of some kind. You can rotate after. Oh, I can rotate bolt objects after the bolt has been fired. So I need to fire this. Have it bounce off there. Rotate this guy so he's... Oh, and we go into super slow-mo. Yeah. Faster than the speed of light, people. He's going to reflect off that guy. And come back and hit that, like that. Perfect. Ooh, wow, I got, I got over... I got 12,000 points. Sweet. You can also move objects after the bolt has been fired. Oh, okay. Um, oh, I get it. So I want to move this guy here. Fire. Fire! Okay. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. It was too soon. Let's re re replay it. Okay. Move this guy here. Fire. We got to wait until he's completely out of the square. There we go. Then I'll come back. He'll hit this and he'll hit chip. New character unlocked. You can swap characters in the shop. Okay. So let's look at the shop real fast. Who do we also have? The wardrobe, new threads, chip, or pin. Chip and pin. Uh, we're, I'm gonna stick with chip. Okay, so we've done... Uh, when you rotate or rotate, we select or rotate an object, time slows down. I saw that, yes, I noticed. Um, so we want to, we need to move these guys. We gotta do, need to do some shuffling here. Fire. So if you want to save time, you could theoretically fire that first. Move him over here. Move him over here. You fire it first, move these guys out of the way, and then wait for it to go through. Chip is so lazy, I gotta do all the work for him. It's ridiculous. 
Level 11. Oh, there's, other, there's 100 levels. I've got, but I've got 25 out of these bulbs. Wow, this one's kind of complicated. Okay, so we've got six mirrors. If this one fires, it'll go up here, which will uh, go boink, boink, and then reflect it directly back. We obviously don't want that to happen. So if we rotate this, it'll let them go over here, then down here, then down here, then the chip. Okay, so let's start with this one, like that. This guy, like that. This guy, we want to rotate, so he's like that. Then like that. And then like that. So that should work now, right? Boink, 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 boink. Yeah, that should work. That should do the trick. That's the ticket. Now he's going to come over here, he's going to bounce off this guy, and then off this guy, and then off that guy, and into Chip. Bam! I'm a, I'm a genius. I'm a genius at moving these little mirrors around. Okay, I don't know why it's a new best. I mean, the time is new best. I should all be new best for me, because I'm playing it for the first time. Um, okay, so we've got... We've got a number of mirrors we can move around. We've got these guys. Can I move this guy here? No. Do I have to shuffle these guys? What if I move this guy here? Can I only move in... Oh, I think I can only move in straight line blocks. Yeah, I, got to, I can only move straight lines. Can't move diagonally. If there's a thing already there. I can't move them. I'm running out of moves here. There we go. Do it. Fire. That ought to do it. Made that little robot up. Got it. Okay, I didn't get a really high score with that one. Um, earn a light bulb by finishing the level on only 10 seconds. Okay, so what I've got, I've got this guy here. None of these guys can be moved. This guy's here. Chip's there. Okay, so if I bounce it here, and then bounce it off this, and then rotate so that this guy back, so if he comes back, it goes this way, yeah. But the thing is, is they're like, do it in 10 seconds. I think I'm supposed to move this guy over. So let's start by firing. Grab this guy, move it over here. He's gonna bounce here. Oop, I need to turn that guy so he's facing this way, come on. Face the right way, there you go. Turn this guy so he's facing that way. Oops, not that way, that way. Like that. Turn this guy so he's facing like this. Come on, there you go. And then this guy needs to be moved here. There we go. Now, is it going to be enough time to do it? Yeah, ten, less than ten seconds. Eight seconds, sweet. Okay, ooh, this one's complicated. Hmph, impress me. Well, Mr. Snooty King over there, I'll show you who's the boss of, of the, the chip, chipinator. Um, okay, interesting, we've got three absorbers. This is gonna be tricky. Okay, what I gotta do is I gotta put him here. I've gotta bounce one off of him he this way. Then I've really gotta hustle. Like, as soon as it's in the square, I've gotta move this guy down to this square. So grab this guy here, move him there. Fire. Okay, he's gonna go that way. Wait for him to get out of that square first. Go here. Wait for it. Go here. Got it. 
Ha, genius, pure genius, King Boy. That that's chip style. That's that's all we do it. All right. Sweet. I guess I could have done it in three moves. Take me to Chip for a prize. Hmm, oh, interesting. Just so the thing has to hit it somehow. This one's kind of complicated. Okay, so if I... What? If I fire it here, if I have this guy here, fire it here, and then it bounces off that, it'll bounce back, and I can have him, oh, I can have it here. Um, so let's do this. Okay, he's gonna do that. As soon as it gets into the yellow square, okay, move him here. Bounce it off that. Got him. I have no idea how to get that prize. Um, okay. Alright. So let's finish this off, I guess. So we're at 16. Let's do... 17. Okay. Um, take me a chip for extra coins. I don't know what the coins do. So these guys, this guy can be rotated, but he needs to be charged. We've got some reflectors here. These guys can't be moved at all. Um, how am I supposed to take this to chip? Um, so if I were to move this guy here, right? No, do, do, no, here. Then they fire it across there, I wouldn't even have to hit anything. But I would be able to get this bonus. Right? Let's try it out. So if I have him so he's facing that way, fire. That should work, right? That is gonna work. Oh, no, it didn't work because of the edge. Okay, so let's reload. Um So we got this guy who can, can that guy can't move at all. Oh, I see I see what I've gotta do. I see what I've gotta do. Okay, so I've gotta move this guy here. He's got to reflect down here into this guy, who's going to charge up, and then he's going to hit Chip. Got it. Okay, fire. Grab this guy. Move him here. Rotate. There we go. Andrew, rotate that, that guy. He'll go into here. Fire. Now, presumably, there's some way of getting Chip to hit those coins, but... Sweet. Okay, sometimes you must solve a pu puzzle multiple ways to get all the light bulbs. Right, in this case the light bulbs are finish it, get the best time, get the best number of moves, right? I can't scroll down this. Um, okay, so we've got chip there, this guy here, I need to get this there. But I need to shuffle these guys out of the way. So move this guy here. Move this guy here. Move him here. Move him here. Move him here. Move him here. This guy here. Fire. Alright. That should do it. I have no idea how you do it in the number of moves they give you, but... I mean, that guy can turn, I guess. Yeah, we didn't get a number of moves they want me to do it in. Um, okay, so we've got Chip here. This guy's a slider. This guy's also a slider. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab, we're going to fire, we're going to grab this guy, move him here. As soon as this bounces off here, we're going to, it's going to bounce off here, then we're going to move this guy over here and turn him. 
can move him here, grab him, rotate him around so he's like that. Perfect. He'll bounce off that, hit this, and then hit chip. Pure genius. Got him, yeah. Okay, 19 out of 10, 100. Okay, so we've got multiple of these ref stationary reflectors. So this is probably going to be the hardest one. We've got this one here. Okay, so we need to ultimately we need to have this one here to reflect it in the chip. So we've got to bounce it here. Um. Okay. So it's going to reflect. How am I going to do this? Okay, so if I move this guy here. Right, it'll reflect off this and go over here. Bounce off this. I can have it. Reflect off of this guy again to go up here, and then I can move this guy out of the way, and then up here, I think. So we need to move this guy here, fire, move this guy here, rotate him. Slightly, we'll face that way. Let's go bounce off here, bounce this way. I can move him back over and around, I think. I'm hoping I can move him that fast. Bounce, okay, grab, move here, up, oh, grab, move there. I'm not gonna build it in time. He's too slow. Okay, let's re restart. Okay, so move him here, fire, okay. Grab this guy, move him here, rotate, okay, he's going to come back, bounce off, grab, move, grab, move, grab, this is not going to work, he's going he's gonna to be too slow, move. slow. I could, almost could have had that if I just moved a little bit faster. Okay, let's try it again. Um, move, put it here, fire, grab, move, rotate, and go there. As soon as he bounces off this guy, I gotta have him moving. Do I even need, because he'll, can I just move him over there? Grab, Rotate. Come on, rotate. There you go. Yeah, I can do it. Oh, he passed through it. What? Why, why, why did it pass through it? What? That doesn't make any sense. What? Why did it do that? I don't know. What if I fired it off this, bounced off that, hit this? Bounce back. No, I mean, that's just gonna be the same thing, but only faster. What if I what if I rotate it first? I should do that first. Move this guy here. Fire. Bounce. Grab. Wait, wait for it to get through. Grab. Move here. Rotate. Okay, he's gonna bounce off that guy. Bounce, wait for it, grab it, rotate it the right direction. It's gonna be that, that way, come on, come on, get it the right direction, you're slowing me down. No, I lost, I gotta reload again. No, I don't, I don't, oh. reload. Move here, fire, bounce. Move here. 
rotate. Okay, he's gonna bounce off that guy. He's gonna come over here. Then we're gonna rotate it again. Then we're gonna move him up here. Bounce, rotate. There, move. Here. Got it. Wait, why did it go through? I don't understand why it's going through that. Do I have to go around it? Because I don't think I can do it that fast. Um, well, we've got multiple ones of these reflectors. Oh, what if I bounce it off? Oh, I know what I need to do. Okay, I got it, I got it, I got it. I figured it out. I figured it out. Okay, bounce it off this. Like this. He's going to go that way. This one is, is totally relevant. Go over here, move this guy there. He's going to bounce that way. Now he's going to bounce that way. Now you're just going to move him back this way. There we go, I got it. That was much easier than what I was trying to do. And he's going to bounce off that guy and go and hit Chip. Do it! Alright, unlocked. What do we got? We got, oh, 25,000. Wow, so we're up in a lot. Okay, so we got all the way through level 20, but I guess he's not feeling very well. Oh, I don't want to do this. Uh, level select. Oh, I only got 45 out of... 75 possible bulbs. But we haven't unlocked the next one for some reason yet. Anyway, so the next one is called Pin the Pincredible Hulk. So that was Chip. Sort of a... You know, sort of a puzzle game. That sort of thing. Kind of like Divide by Sheep, which we covered way back when. Uh, it was kind of fun. Uh, if you like that kind of thing. Anyway, I will keep my eyes open for the next Bargain Basement game, and I will see you next time.